Hey everyone, I'm Colby. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I have chosen to go to a software development bootcamp, what I'm expecting to get out of it, and more specifically how I'm preparing now to ensure that I succeed going through the bootcamp itself. So the bootcamp that I'm going to is a six month program. It's in person. I'm actually making a move out of my current area to be able to attend the program. So there's a lot of skin in the game on my part. A little bit about me. I've been studying web development for about nine months, give or take now, and it's been pretty on and off. I've spent a decent amount of time with various courses on Udemy. I have had a membership and I do have a membership on the Zero to Mastery platform. And I actually just signed up for a membership on the Front End Masters platform, which has been really good so far. Zero to Mastery has been great and Front End Masters has been a great complement to that. I find it really helps to have various teaching styles to kind of get the ideas and concepts into your brain. And then each course has you practice in different ways. So that's very useful. I've been inconsistent in my studies for a few reasons. The main one being that I run a service business in my area and it's very seasonal. So summer is our high season. We have some lower seasons, the lowest season being in the winter right after Christmas. But during summertime, I missed several months of studying on any kind of really consistent basis just because of the amount of work that I had. And frankly, I just didn't make the time. I might have had it here and there a couple hours a day, but to be honest with you, I was tired at the end of the day. I just didn't make the time for it. Another reason is just being a father. I live at home with my wife and two kids, so there's a lot of duties to take up on that end. So the combination of work plus fatherhood plus being tired, I just kind of let it slip for a couple of months. The other reason I'm going to this specific boot camp is that it includes an internship, which in my opinion makes it worth the price of tuition in and of itself. Having that opportunity to actually get hands-on work for those five weeks full time, I think is gonna put me ahead of other entry-level web developers when it comes to getting through the hiring process, getting interviews, etc. In the six months I'm there, I'm gonna be learning the React stack including the back end, Node.js, and I'm also going to be working on learning C Sharp and the .NET stack. So it's gonna be relatively comprehensive. It's gonna be far from everything that I need to know. I'm well aware I'm gonna to need to continue to learn as I develop through my career, but I think it's gonna give me a really good kind of starting point to then branch out into being employed. In any case, this bootcamp is gonna be really intensive. It's six months long full time, so it's 50 hours a week, and then there's work outside of class as well that I'm gonna be doing. With that being said, here's a few things I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of months to make sure that I'm prepared for when boot camp does come. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is coding every single day leading up to boot camp. I have about two to two and a half months until boot camp is here, and every single day I'm gonna be coding for three hours or studying web development for three hours between then and now. I think that's gonna give me a huge leg up when it comes to learning the material and give me a lot of ideas about projects that I wanna build, what I want my portfolio to look like, and I'm gonna to come to bootcamp with a bunch of questions and things that I'm already kind of conjuring up and thinking about continuing to develop. I'm currently on day 25 of this and it's been going really good. I've had 100% consistency so far. I feel really good about getting up and actually sitting at the computer and coding every single day. It's created a really nice system in my head. I gotta say, I'm not dreaming in code yet, but I woke up this morning to an alarm on my watch and in my head, I started thinking like, okay, there's probably a for loop with an if statement saying that if this time equals 8 a.m., set alarm off. When the alarm is set off, set off the LED light on the inside of the watch. It was kind of a funny thought to have and just made me kind of realize that I'm thinking about this on a regular basis. It's becoming more and more ingrained into my subconscious as time goes by, which is a great sign. So right now I am brushing up on my HTML and CSS. I've done a reasonable amount of learning in those already. I'm pretty comfortable in them, but I'm just revisiting them. So I'm fresh when I get to bootcamp. And then I'm gonna be learning more about JavaScript, getting more advanced in uh, all of the concepts that I have yet to learn and then kind of get more proficient in the ones that I have learned. And I'm also gonna kind of take a little peek under the hood into the React framework before bootcamp gets by. That's gonna leave C Sharp and .NET totally untouched by me. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I think that learning JavaScript is going to only help learning C Sharp and I'm not too afraid of being 
terribly unprepared when I get to boot camp to start learning about that. The second thing I'm doing to prepare is talking to people that are in web development or aspiring to be. So through the Zero to Mastery platform that I'm signed up on, there's a Discord. I have several friends on there that I talk to pretty much on a regular basis. I'm doing video calls with them on a regular basis as well. And then I have a couple of web developer friends that I'm able to kind of glean information from. They provide me resources, tips, tricks, places to find certain things. So that gives me a lot of material to consume and really makes me feel and realize that I'm starting to kind of build that network before it's really necessary. I want to get out of bootcamp having built a network, not get out of bootcamp and then start building the network. It just seems like that seems like a backwards way of doing it. Having a network right when I get out of bootcamp established and still building, I think is going to be what's going to give me the biggest leg up when it comes to getting involved in the job market as soon as possible. The third thing seems sort of unrelated, but it's getting and staying in shape. I lift weights on a regular basis most days of the week and I'm going to be integrating more cardio into my weekly process and then also eating clean. Those two things, the cardio and eating clean, are really going to help my energy levels. It already has. I've been eating clean and doing cardio for about two and a half weeks now and I've already realized an increase in energy but for me I'm looking for any slight edge I can get for when I'm in boot camp full time and that for me comes from doing cardiovascular work staying strong staying lean and eating clean my brain works faster I'm less emotional and my energy span is just way longer not to mention I sleep a lot better too especially when I'm not drinking or eating a ton of sugar the natural consequence of all of this is what leads to number four, which is cutting out the frivolous activities in my life. So for me, that looks primarily like playing video games. I gotta say, when I thought about moving on to developing, I thought that quitting video games and not playing video games on a regular basis was just something that I would have to kind of bite the bullet and stop doing. But really breaking these habits has just been a consequence of creating new positive habits that slowly push out the things that are unnecessary. At the beginning of the day, I make a to-do list on Notion and it essentially fills up my whole day with things that I have to do. And after that, I have things that I can kind of fit in where it falls. But between coding, working, going to the gym and being a dad, after those th four things are done, I don't have a ton of time. It's the early evening. The kids are about to go down and I have a few hours before I have to go to sleep in order to get up at the right time and get enough sleep to wake up and do it all over again. So that might sound tragic and horrible to some of you, but I gotta say for me, it's been really a great consequence of just prioritizing getting more coding into my life and staying in shape. Those two things have really pushed out a lot of the frivolous activities to the edges. Anyway, there's just a few things that I'm doing right now to prepare for coding bootcamp. Leave a comment below to let me know what you are doing. If you're thinking about going to coding bootcamp, what your questions are about coding bootcamp, I would be more than happy to answer in the capacity that I can. Hit the subscribe button. There will be more videos coming soon about my experience getting ready for bootcamp, going through bootcamp, and then the process after that. So with all that said, thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.